Now this is what dreams are made of right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six H2s. <laughs> now we got a stretch H2 with the gold accents. Then we got a stock wheelbase H2. Let me know which one you guys like more. <laughs> Horsepower it sounds like right there. So we don't get these kind of days very, very often, but today is definitely an H2 type of day. Now I know we've been talking about building this bike for a while now, and today we're gonna to meet with the builder and kind of discuss our plans for Nina. And I also think you guys are gonna really like what he's got in his garage. <laughs> I did not see either of them. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna calm down. I think there's three of them. I think that's an undercover too. I almost just blew right by them. That would have made for an interesting video. <laughs> man, this bike, I swear, man, it's gonna get me in trouble one day. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. I forgot how loud this freaking bike is, dude. Like it's quiet when it idles, but when you're on it, oh my, this thing just screams. Like obnoxiously loud. I always tell people this is the bike I have to be very careful on. Because if you don't ride it for a while and then you get on it, you just forget how wild it is. Or it'll just get you in a hairy situation very, very, very quickly. Because <laughs> it's so fast, but it's deceptively fast. It doesn't feel like you're going that fast. But I, I do love this bike, man. This thing's so good. So freaking good. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. What I really want to do is get a second H2 and do a build on that one. Like a crazy build. Like stretch it, lower it. 300 plus horsepower build because i do love how this bike is in its current form but i do know we can squeeze a little bit more power out of nina so part of me wants to just squeeze a little bit more power out of it and get a busa and do like a fun busa build like and that would be the crazy high horsepower turbo build i don't know which bike's a better platform if the h2 is a better platform or if the boost is a better platform to do a high horsepower build everyone's gonna have a different opinion i think the busa I, I don't know it doesn't come boosted or anything so this one already comes boosted but i know there's a lot you gotta do it can be temperamental when you start trying to push too much power out of it but i guess that's any bike so y'all comment down below which one do you rather see a high horsepower busa build or high horsepower h2 build <laughs> Part of me is leaning towards the Busa because I think it'd be a little bit more entertaining to watch. It'd just be different content than the H2. 
but I do love this bike. I think the H2 is so much more special than the Busa. At least for me, when you see it, like the paint and the colors and the, the sound, like all that stuff is just like, oh my God, chef's kiss, man. Like such a special bike, at least out the box. Now I've seen some amazing, incredible, beautiful Busa builds. So I'm not like trying to shit on the Busa. I want one, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I think they're great bikes, but I don't know. There's something about the H2. I will note though, I've never ridden a Busa, so I mean, there's that. I did memorize the directions to his house. Woo! <laughs> Holy man. I gotta keep telling my stuff to calm down. <laughs> Just hearing that whistle. Talk to him, Nina. Talk to him, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love this bike. I'm cheesing in my helmet ear to ear right now. That's what this thing does, man. I also don't want to give away where he lives, so I might just catch you guys at the location because I doubt he wants his address public. <laughs> now this is what dreams are made of right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six H2s. <laughs> Real quick, I want to thank today's sponsor, which is NBT Clothing. Whether you're a new rider or a long-term rider, male or female, I want to inspire everyone in the riding community in 2024 to ride protected. Now I just moved down to the Sunshine State and I see a lot of people squitting. And I get it, not every single time you go out to ride you wanna throw on a full leather suit. The reason why I love MBT clothing is they have a wide variety of flannels, jackets, hoodies, pants, everything you can think of. My favorite thing to wear is the armored hoodie. It's got C rated armor in the elbow as well in the shoulder and the armored pants. It's got armor in the hips and in the knees. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've been low key eyeing that flannel. It's also got abrasion resistant material. So if you go down, it'll protect you a lot better than regular clothing. Throw those two things on and you're good to go, baby. Whoa! Now check out nbtclothing.com. They've got a huge holiday sale going on right now and use the code FASTLANEGANG to even save you some more money. This is the dream right here. Holy cow. Hell yeah. What's this one getting done? Uh, so this is CP high compression pistons and then all stage three stuff. Are these all local guys? No, none of them are. None of them are local? In Jersey. That one's from Cali. That one's from New Mexico. That one's from, I think, Washington. That one's from California. That one's from Jacksonville. I think that, that's the closest one. The one. Holy cow. What happened to that one? Stoplight got branded. What? Oh, I gotta see this. If you stand behind it and look at it, it's sitting in a chalk, so it is straight up and down. Okay. Damn, that's always, that's like my worst fear is getting rear-ended, man. Oh, dang. You, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but look how that wheel, dang, how that's turned. Sheesh. It's not totaled? Uh, I think it did get totaled, but he okay. bought it back. Yeah. And now he's Thankfully, he only suffered. I think he had a fractured ankle, and that was it. Oh, dang. He got lucky. Yeah. But got he got it. really lucky. So he kind of walked away. He hobbled away from it. And look at this thing. Do you have to tell him what's, uh, what's done to this bad boy? Uh, so let's say high compression CP piston uh, motor. The owner wanted 300 plus wheel horsepower with stock emission timing, so that was a way to do it. Made a little over 300 wheel on pump gas, and it'll be probably more reliable than the factory motor was. Dang. And going back to New Jersey. Something. Going back to Jersey. 300. On pump. Stage three. That's wild. I can't even imagine, man. It's a lot of fun right there. And reliable too. That's the biggest yeah, thing yeah, that we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Don't want people to worry about if they can or can't ride their bikes. They need to be able to just start them and ride them and just yep. kind of monitor them just like you would any other bike. Yep. I agree 100%. That's my priority, obviously, like I was telling you guys. With this bike is I want to build it, obviously have it be fast, but most importantly, be safe because I can't be at events and uh, the bike acting up or having issues and then that kind of ruins the content and then I'm spending money on fixing it. Yeah, it just becomes a, a rabbit hole of issues, but we're gonna, we're gonna get Nina set up right. And I've also got carbon bits up here. Um, I got the fender and then here that I couldn't install because I don't have a rivet gun. These are riveted on. I don't know why they're riveted on right there, but he's Travis gonna take care of all that for me. The only thing I do like is, look at that engine cover right there. 
a clutch cover, excuse me, it's got the H2 symbol on there. Y'all comment down below, should we add that on the Nina? I think it's sick. I probably wouldn't do the green. I'd probably just do whatever it comes, I think it comes black. But I do like the H2 symbol in there. I think that's a nice little uh, touch. It's all in the details. And I also do love this red frame up here. This one is getting it's, turbo. It's going turbo charge. Yeah, it's going turbo oh, over super charge. deleted. Uh, everything involved in the blower has been deleted. Turbo manifold, exhaust, wastegate, all the charge pipe, everything's being built here in house. It's a fully built motor, uh, high compression built motor. So it's uh, 10 and a half to one CP pistons, uh, Carrillo connecting rods. Stop crank. This should be the first turbocharged H2 in the United States. There was one overseas done a few years ago. Yeah. I haven't really seen much content on that one, but I guess that one made a lot of power too. But yeah, we're gonna see what we can get with that. So stage three with pistons. Okay. Stage three. Okay. Used to be stage three on C85, not yeah. like turbocharged. Turbo, okay. And then stage three plus, which is more of a race application. The head comes off, gets milled for a little bit more compression and more power. The average between all three bikes is like 300, 320, 330 overstars. So what's stage two? So stage which two stage two is one of them doing is, on mine? A, pr a pretty basic setup. It's, it's definitely recommended for short wheelbase. Just yeah. the fact it's 300 wheel is, is too much for, for stock wheelbase. Exactly. Um, stage two should make about 80, 85, 90 wheel horsepower factory. So yeah. the dial that I work on, they make 260, 270 wheel. Extremely reliable. Yeah, you that's make, the big you thing. Maintain it like factory, literally just by the like by the OEM manual. Change yeah. the oil, clutch is a wear item. It'll eventually go through a clutch, just like every motorcycle on the planet. Yeah. Just just ride the bike and enjoy it. Heck yeah. And I've got customers that he's got a dedicated track bike, slicks. Yeah. Taped up everything. He's got 26,000 miles on a stage two. Dang. And it's a track only bike. There we go. And he just damn valve, just... valve check adjustments. Yeah. Tires, oil. That's much it. That's plenty of power for this stock wheelbase, so we'll get her set up and it'll still power wheelie mid 100. Oh, I bet. I mean, it does, yeah, right now. So, with all this 4150, it'll still power wheelie, yeah. And that's like I said, that's plenty. There's there's a point where it's just too much and not usable, so yeah, we're trying to avoid hitting that and just teeter that line if that makes sense. So, since you're so close now, I'll yeah, have a customer with a stage three with an arm. Yeah. I'll see if I can arrange a, a meet uh, with you with you in that bike. Yeah, y'all comment down below if y'all want to see that, man. Me on a uh, stage three tune, see that uh, review video. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be sick. Ah. Uh, yep. Yeah, I got a buddy. His Travis, I was over there for two hours. We were just kind of hanging out, chopping it up off camera. It's always cool to talk to other people that love bikes as much as you do, and he works around motorcycles for a living. So we just got to talking, and the time just flew by. So you say good to him for uh, let me come bother him for a little bit. I know he's got a lot of work to do, as you saw. There's a lot of H2s in there. I really want to, like I said, build this bike. I know Chris tuned it, but I know there's a couple other little things that we can do to get a little bit more power out of it and make it also a little bit safer as well. He's the H2 guy. Like when I bought my H2, everyone was like, you gotta take your bike to him. And now that he's in my backyard, it'll be cool, like I said, having that much knowledge about this bike, so accessible. Should we do another H2 build? Like it go crazy on that build and have that bike as a crazy bike. And this is kind of like the more tamed one, man. Cause I, I just, I really love the H2s. I feel like it's such a special bike, man. And having someone like that so close to me would also be really nice in building a crazy high horsepower bike. But yeah, y'all comment down below what y'all want to see, man, because I want to make content that you enjoy. It's a win-win for me either way, because I'm going to love either bike, the H2, or if we do a turbo booster build that's high horsepower. Also, the cool part about having him in the same city now is that he said I could come film some of the processes. So if you guys are interested in seeing like the mechanics and stuff and seeing him actually work on the bikes, y'all comment down below. I know sometimes some people just want to see them ridden and out and about. But if you want to see them actually being built too, I mean, that's definitely, we can make that happen. For those that are interested, the mechanically inclined people. Woo! Golly, 
The sounds that come out of Nina, man, I swear. <laughs> but uh, it looks like it's about to start raining any second now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get home. The Red Bull girls. They used to come to the gym. I used to work out all the time. Back in the good old days. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> got <guy's> pissed. <laughs> <laughs> all right i need to put this bike up before i get in trouble man yeah if y'all enjoyed that video make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button jesus join the fast lane gang bang Catch y'all in the next one, man. Nina, Fastlane D, we out. Peace.